Alright. Alright, so this was my practice run when I was originally testing to see if I could get to the main dungeon. Um, this is the one I've used throughout the, the LP. Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda uh, Link to the Past. I had a mind fart, a brain fart there, sorry. Um, this is the GBA version, uh, for those who actually kind of watched the solo versions of the uh, boss fights and dungeons. Uh, you got a little bit of a glimpse into some of the auditory differences. Uh, so, when you play the GBA version, there's this version of the game here. Um, if you select it, you actually need to um, have a multiplayer pack. And unfortunately, we don't have an ability to do that. When you do that, it shows a little bit of a story. And if you've played Minish Cap, you recognize these sprites. Um, I'm not going to get really into it. And it actually has a little bit of uh, Minish Cap vibes to it because you can see even the element, uh, the, the, the shrine that it's in. This is at the very beginning of Minish Cap. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, when you go to play this, you don't have, we don't have the ability to do that. So, she kind of goes into the idea of what happens, and it's a lot of what the, uh, Minish Cap beginning is. Kind of. Actually, I think it's more of like swords for, uh, Four Swords Adventures. But anyway, it, it's the same idea. It, but uh, it's done very differently compared to Four Swords Adventures. Four Swords Adventures is very much more polished compared to Four Swords in this game. However, to unlock the final dungeon of this game, the true du the true final dungeon of this game, you have to defeat Ganon and beat Vati in that dungeon. Uh, this is my 100% playthrough so far. <laughs> we haven't gone in here yet. Um, Palace of the Four Swords. And he's like, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. And you don't want to hear it. Um, so we don't have the money for it at this point anyway. Which is fantastic because I need to um, grab as much as I can because I'm broke. Um, I do have some places I think I can go grab some money. Uh, I'm going to need it at this point. <laughs> I'm cutting down bushes for my money. That's this is where we're at. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I wanted to make sure uh, I could it, it do things before we went into this uh, playthrough, and one of them was to be able to access that dungeon. I this is done on an emulator, so. Uh, I do have a code that I can use to unlock the dungeon. I did notice, however, if you just have it on, it messes up some of the puzzles. Uh, like, there, uh, when you're escaping uh, Hyrule Castle at the very beginning, uh, having it turned on makes the switch that causes the... Uh, Oh gosh, my brain just kind of died on me. The that makes the uh, it, that opens the door in the sanctuary. It actually disappears if you have the coat on. So also Mabel. Like I was saying, she she's here. Uh, for you in that regard. It's kind of cool. There's a little bit of a change there. Um, 
Uh, I need to use the flute. I think I know where to find a good bit of money. It's gonna have to be a probably at Lucky Cave up here. Because I did not open those chests. Get out of here. Um... Nope, that is not it. <laughs> so... Overall, the... This version of the game, I'm more... Well, I have more memories with this version of it. What in the world? I guess I just don't remember exactly where everything is. Um... Yeah, because you need all that nonsense. Uh, but... Anyway. I'd much rather have something else. Uh, the idea that I have with this, um, part of the, the playthrough, I, golly, I can't believe I'm having a problem finding magic, but alright. Alright, game, be like that. Actually, I think I can easily get some magic. Maybe. Hi, Turtle Rock. Yep, there we go. I don't have the money to grab a blue potion, but I think, honestly, we should be fine. I should be able to gain all the money I need in the dungeon, and then if need be, I can go grab a blue potion or a green potion. I'd probably prefer getting a green so I don't have to waste money on a blue. But, we'll see. Now... That being said... This part of the game is incredibly difficult. I don't remember exactly what level of everything I had when I, uh, when I played this in my own time. I just remember this dungeon taking a long time and I also remember this dungeon being absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so... I don't need any of that. But I do need this. Um... There we go. Now, I'm going to turn this thing off because I don't know if it's going to affect the rest of the dungeon, and I'd rather not do that. <laughs> so, this dungeon, the Four Swords dungeon, is only available if you beat Vati and Ganon. Uh, it's a very massive dungeon, and it's a dungeon that doesn't joke around either. It has a bunch of very difficult monsters and several boss fights. Um, if you recognize that, uh, congratulations. Uh, you aren't able to actually just use your Master Sword or Tempered Sword or even the Butter Sword to take care of that. You do need to go to every corner of the dungeon. You can access any part of the dungeon at this point, but um, the, the problem is you uh oh my goodness as you can tell oh wow this this is being rough oh you got to be joking There we go. Jeez, why couldn't that happen earlier? Oh, gosh. Game! Don't... Don't do this to me. What in the world, game? Game. 
you're, you're being a jerk right now. <laughs> I I do not like the swimming in this game for obvious reasons at this point. There we go. Jeez. Hello, Aghanim 2.0. Yeah, instead of the little fuzzballs, we have all have jellyfish, and guess what? They they don't die in one hit. You have to attack them a few times, even with a level four sword. All right, that that's a bit jerk. That's a bit of a jerk move there, dude. What? <laughs> now the problem I I will go ahead and tell you about this dungeon. Uh, it. All right, th th that is just dumb. That is just outright dumb. All right, game. That, that, no. No. I call shenanigans. Also, you can tell to the right there, the four swords. And obviously because of the four swords kind of add on, uh, that's what we're aiming for. Um... Oh my goodness. Having to deal with the jellyfish is just ridiculous. You gonna there we go. Jeez. I guess that's one way to take care of it. Oh my goodness, game. Don't do this. You're ridiculous. Also, you're going at mock speed. What in the world? <laughs> I don't I'm doing this part blind because I wanted to do it blind, but jeez. Wait, what? What was that? Um I don't think that was supposed to happen. This is going to be a thing, isn't it? Oh boy, this is going to be a thing. I forgot how much health these bosses have. Jeez. Yeah. Dark World bosses are just like mini bosses in this dungeon. Guardians of these swords. And golly, they hit light trucks. Um. Alright. Um, oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Make it easy. Alright. Uh, this is more reminiscent of the dark... Um, the dark world. It's first dungeon. Uh, uh, I, need... uh, I guess I didn't mention this either. Uh... The shovel is a permanent item in this version of the game. You don't ever lose it, so that is something you might want to keep in mind. It, well, you can keep in mind, I guess. Is oh, come on. Is it really just as simple as just leaving it there? But, yeah, it doesn't... What am I missing? Oh, <laughs> nope, don't do that. Hmm. 
No. Hmm. Uh. Golly, like I might have to. Ch you know what? Hold on. Get, give me a hot minute because I'm gonna have to change the uh, configuration of this because, oh. Oh, wait a minute. I can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> I was like, what do I have that could do it? Oh, that. Oh, yay. Helmosaur King with a red mask this time around. Oh, why did Link turn around? Oh, I, I'm noticing that he's doing that every time I hit it. I did not notice that. Alright. Gosh, I forgot. Oh no. Why? Why is this the thing? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, this is a tough dungeon. Even with the red tunic. All the hearts. <laughs> it's one of those. Ugh. What? What even hit me? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, it's just one arrow. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, all right. That is the red sword. Alright. I may have to leave the dungeon to grab some stuff. Now, I will go ahead and say this. Normally, in this dungeon, uh, if it to get inside, you need to pay 200 rupees uh, to that guy that was at the door. Um, the only way I could actually access this dungeon was if I put that cheat in, so we didn't have to pay that. Also, it's ridiculous that you have to pay that amount of money just to go into a dungeon that, if you didn't play an extra part of the game, you would have never known about it. I, I just find it a bit ridiculous, in my opinion, so... <laughs> um, that's, that's just me. But I understand maybe not everyone thinks that way. <laughs> uh. I think that's where that is, actually. Uh. 
let me try that again. Actually, I need to do this. Um... No, it wasn't that. There we go. Okay. Very good. They do actually make you use your items, which is a good idea. And this is like the ultimate dungeon of the game, so... They want to make sure that... Ow. Well... Ow. Um... Why Mothra? Uh. Oh no, no. Uh. I I forgot about this part of Mothra. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh, I forgot that he did that. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> we're in so much trouble. <laughs> I don't like this boss in vanilla version. Uh. Oh, get out of here, bees. The fact that you, you have to keep an eye on him, because if you don't, you're in trouble. <laughs> and there's my death. Alright. We'll do a save and continue. Uh, start on Pyramid. Um, golly. Uh, so that's the dungeon. <laughs> um... Oh gosh, so... As far as what I know is... This is gonna take a, a hot moment, so... Actually, no. Don't do it! Actually, I'm curious. Am I gonna be upset? I might be upset. I don't know. <laughs> I think she gives you a magic medicine if you do this. She does. Oh my gosh. I could have been getting free magic medicines. Because the other one does it as well. The other upgrade fairy. I just thought of that. Oh man. Alright. We're gonna get a couple of these, we're gonna fill our hearts up, and then we'll go back in the dungeon. Jeez, I can't believe I forgot about that. That would have saved me so much trouble when I went to go deal with the Ganon. Ugh. Ugh.
I'm willing to make a bet that if I go and grab the, uh... I don't think Bombos will work. Well, any of the spells. Uh, I guess I could technically just go look it up. Well, not technically go look it up. I could just go look it up and see if Bombos will affect it. Because that fight, that Mothra fight is the worst. Hands down, the worst Mothra fight. It's like, oh, I'm going to clone myself and then fly around and be ridiculous. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Ow. Jeez, what a jerk. I think we're gonna hide. I have to make him disappear. Yep. Uh, give me one hot minute. I don't have to worry about him. <laughs> now he's over here. <laughs> don't want to hear it. It it just moves him off screen, really. That's all it does. There we go. If these are like octolings or something, I don't know. It's weird. Also, it's one of the few. I think, yeah, this is the only dungeon in this game that actually will make um, your a, a staircase appear if you defeat all the enemies. Oh no! There we go. Go around that. Throw that and hit it. And we're gonna throw the cane of Samaria over there. Well, ow. Alright. Let's try this again. why I got these. <laughs> Make sure that we've got this. Um, well, I guess we could see whether or not this affects it. No? Yeah. I feared as much, but I thought I'd try. Gosh. This is a this is actually a difficult fight. I forgot. It, like I forgot about these boss fights, but jeez, like this is a 
atrocious. I thought I... I thought I was hitting you. There we go. There we go. Jeez, Mothra. I forgot how bad you were. <laughs> no wonder I remember you un in such a... <laughs> such a way. Because I... Ugh. Oh, like likes. Oh, jeez. I don't think they can affect you while you have the mirror shield, but eh, better safe than sorry. <laughs> like I, I, I do not believe they can actually steal that. Wait. Am I missing something? I did turn the cheat off, right? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. Um... Confused. Uh, yeah. Oh, they do steal it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, well, this will tell me. Okay, no. I'm confused. How am I supposed to... what? The book ain't gonna work. That's... <laughs> Yeah, I, what am I supposed to do here? Alright, I'm gonna have to look this up real... Well, if I can find it. <laughs> That's the problem. No one does any content on this one dungeon. Because, uh, people don't do it for some dumb reason. Alright, um... Okay. All right, so what we need is actually the silver arrows. Because as you can tell, silver arrows break the skulls. And we need to place a block on that. <laughs> yeah, no wonder I couldn't figure that out. I got to hand it to the... Uh, the website that's the strategy wiki place because I wouldn't have been able to figure that out <laughs> otherwise. Alright. And this is our not uncle. Hey, Link. I didn't want you involved to tell you to not leave home. You must rescue Princess Zelda. You're the princesses. Uh, this is an upgraded version of Blight. Um, this guy is a jerk. Like in the previous. 
Uh, but this one, the uh, blue heads are what you're going to have to deal with. And as you can see, the head hasn't really returned. You have to add the head back onto Blight's head. Because why not? And now there's multiple heads that you have to ping pong. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> it, it's a it's an interesting take on it. I will say this. It, it is a very interesting take on this fight. And... Oh gosh. There we go, and he's gone. Thankfully, this blight is not nearly as bad. <laughs> Alright. Sorry about that, like, long pause while I was trying to find a guide that actually even said anything, because unfortunately, you know, I'm actually gonna go back out and heal because I'm gonna need it. Uh, this game, I do enjoy it, and I, I always wanted to show off this dungeon because it's insane. It's like what uh, Nintendo would do if they did a Zelda custom dungeon. It's like, yeah, let's make things incredibly hard. <laughs> it, oh gosh, it they were dastardly it from that point on. Alright. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to throw in an empty bottle because I need to have a magic bottle. Just in case. Yes, I did drop that. I and well, let's make sure we're healed before we go in there one last time. Well, maybe. <laughs> I hope it's one last time. I'd rather not have to go through all of that again, but you know, uh, but oh my gosh, the, the enemies on top of the fairy just staying on the tree. What in the world, game? Game? I have a problem with that. <laughs> you know what? I have such a problem with it. Rather than continuing trying to run after fairies, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm going away. All right, all right, duck bird. Let's talk to Mabel. Uh. All right. Why did I go in here? But yeah. And, I, and I'll say this, most people I've seen play this game on YouTube never even touched this dungeon, and I felt like the dungeon deserved it. It's a very good dungeon, it's very... it, it makes you think. Um, and it's a very secluded dungeon that's incredibly difficult with all the stuff that you have to do to get into it, and everything that's required for it, too. It, it's... It's one of those things, you know? Alright. Uh, let me turn that back off. So I don't break the dungeon. Ow. Well, that's just rude. Also, there's those dudes. Uh. Walking on thin air. But. This is the boss room. The four swords go into their corners. And you must fight Dark Links! I'm not even joking. Each Dark Link is going to have a skill of their own. The green one has the dash attack. Um, they do have the butter sword, so they're going to do some damage if you aren't careful. Oh my goodness. Um... You do have to fight all four of them in succession. And they all have a lot of health. Um, 
the green one's the easiest, obviously. Uh, then red shows up. Uh, what does he have? They all have one specific skill. It, that's added on to what they normally can do. I know purple's really bad, but I don't remember what red does. Oh my goodness, am I actually going to beat this boss? I remember... Oh, yeah, you do jump attacks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, blue's where it starts getting bad because he can start jumping. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, you get out of here. <laughs> Why do I still have that? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. You can't use a magic cape because they'll use it. Oh, oh. All right. Purple's gonna get nasty. He's quick too. Oh yeah, that's right. He has the hurricane spin. I forgot about that. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness, game. <laughs> Purple is rough. Alright. <laughs> so much for this being an easy boss fight. <laughs> Alright. So, Purple's got sword beams as well. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright. Oh! I can do that too. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh. Can we get through this? Oh gosh. Yeah, this is rough. Ow. Yeah, that's why I got three fairies, because I knew this fight was going to be hard. <laughs> oh, boy. Um. Uh, yeah, I think Purple Link has... Uh, are it, like, Green Link has a... Uh, I think like eight hearts or something. Eight heart equivalent. Purple has the maximum hearts that we uh, that we can have. So that's why he's so difficult because he's got the basically a red tunic. So he's taking less damage. Okay, there we go. Golly, he takes less damage and he has so such a ridiculous move set. So oh yeah. Oh, we do have to get in the middle, okay. And... I'm not sure exactly what that does. I'll be completely honest. But there we go. It plays the credits of... The Dark World Palaces? <laughs> that's our money! Um... Okay. I think I kind of gave a little bit of my thoughts of the game previously. Um, I do really like this game. The I would, and this is my opinion, if you are going to play this game, play the GBA version. I will say the SNES version, as far as graphics go, is actually way better. But in the long run, mechanics-wise, it's a lot more gentle on you if you play the GBA version. Um, there is this dungeon, if you're emulating it, it's it, you can access that final dungeon we just did. Uh, other than that, I don't know what else to really say about it, um, to add on top of it. I do really like that final dungeon. It really does it's a testament of how good you are 
with the game. If you're able to figure things out. I do feel bad that I didn't figure out that one puzzle, but... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know how... It, like, I was stuck. I did not know what to do. Um, I knew I was missing something. I just didn't know exactly what I did. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah. Green has the dash attack. Um... It says the red one possesses two moves. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, but yeah, the purple one has... I. I remember reading it somewhere that the purple had all, like, as many hearts as you can give him. There's where you find the names. Cold Stare. Um, you know what? There's, there's a couple of other things I do want to kind of talk about, and I'm trying to, it's, I feel bad because I'm looking through all this stuff to make sure I actually know what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty... That's what the Trinex is actually supposed to do with the blue head, is freeze the floor, making it infinitely more difficult to fight him. But I stopped him both times from actually doing that, because I didn't want him to do that. They're called Doppelgangers, but I've always called them Dark Link, so I don't know. Oh, boy. Red can perform a, just a spin attack. Blue can perform both of those, as well as a downward stab. Purple can know all these moves, and one more, the fire blade. Okay, so red was the one that had the spin attack. Okay, also this shows you how many times you've used a certain item. Uh, okay, so, interesting. Wow, didn't use magic powder as much as I thought I did. But, we used bombos twice and one of them completely failed. <laughs> one of them was to open a dungeon for crying, well no, it's not to open a dungeon. Didn't really use it a whole lot in this. Uh, the lamp, oh, the magic hammer, of course. Used the flute quite a bit. Buck catching that, I don't know if Link ever returns that, but hey. The Book of Medora, you use it three times. Three? Why isn't it four? Because, I mean, for crying out loud, dude. What in the world? Alright, whatever. I'm. You know what? I never did use the Cane of Burna in this playthrough. Uh, that's sad. Magic Mirror, 57 times. A lot of it was just to go to the beginning of a, of a dungeon. Uh, life Medicine. <laughs> we used a lot of magic medicines, that's for sure. Cure All Medicines. Okay. Super Bomb! You only needed one of those, thankfully. Uh, glove, we had to use that 90 different times. <laughs> Pegasus shoots 1,144. Sora flippers 311. 3,207 for the sword. That that's to be expected. Um, time saved six. Eh, that's fine. Fairies used 54. Rupees found 3,158. I'm rolling in it, but I spent pretty much all of it. Enemy slain, 1,180. Alright, that, that's not too bad. Time played, 5 hours... Almost 6 hours, wow. So... 
yeah, this is this is the end, the end. So, um, I thought about going through like a bonus thing, and honestly, there, from what I was looking at, there wasn't really anything worth going through. The one thing I would say that is of note if you play the GBA version, um, there's these medals you can get in the Four Swords Adventures part. Um, apparently, I don't know for sure, but I know there's a character in the Lumberjack's house. We never, I never did really show it. Um, that you have to do like a bunch of quests for, and if you actually are able to uh successfully uh do all of his quests he gives you the hurricane spin I, like that's the one upgrade that i could not find a way to just unless i wanted just to cheat it in there was no other way i could really see it um working because there is a thing called a riddle quest and uh yeah, so essentially you have to go and um Yeah, you you need to have won 10 medals and four swords for collecting the most rupees, otherwise you can't play it. Uh that was the one thing I couldn't figure out without just cheating it and giving me the hurricane spin um to just show it off. I don't have a way to show that, otherwise I would show that quest. So, um, there is that. I, but it, it is... Sorry, <laughs> I heard something. Um, there, there is this, uh, quest where you use your bug catching net to... Uh, put things in a basket <laughs> and you put like a cuckoo crabs rupees a, a red rupee a fish an octa balloon a slime squirrel a fake master sword an apple and a kook man I'm, I'm not even sure exactly, <laughs> but, um, I guess it's the, uh, cook man. I guess that's the, oh, that's, that's the, um, buzz blob. Uh, if you sprinkle the magic powder on him and Uh, one last thing it, about it is you can get carvings. I don't know exactly how you get those. Uh, but, um, you can get a complete set of wood carvings and they'll be in Link's house. Uh, one is of Princess Zelda, one's of Akuko, and... Uh, the other, I'm not exactly sure who that is. Um, so what those do, uh, you can sprinkle magic powder on it to get different things. Uh, if you... Use it on the Cuckoo, it swaps with one of the Dark World birds. Uh, Princess Zelda swaps with an old lady, and Link swaps with his bunny form. Oh, so that's supposed to be Link? That does not... Oh, no, it does. It just, from the small picture, you can't really tell, weirdly enough. Um, but, yeah. And the Link carvings uh, wears whatever tunic you currently have, so... It, those are a couple things that are in there. I don't know how to get the carvings. I just noticed that that's the thing. So I guess. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
a it okay so you get it from doing the uh the riddle quest as it's called so there is that thank you everyone for joining me in this adventure of a link to the past um Hopefully, I did this game justice. I don't know if I did, but I th I hope I did. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it and um, you'd be willing to see another Zelda game from me at some point. I do have uh, so many other Zelda games I haven't played that I do want to play through. But I'm glad I was finally able to figure out how to do this one. Because this was one I was wanting to do for a while. I even had someone ask me to do it. And I was like, I want to do this. I want to make sure I can do the, do something specific about it, though. And this was why. The, the Four Swords dungeon. Because it is a dungeon that I have not seen anyone... It, unless someone has done it and I just don't know about it. I've never seen any of the bigger... Especially the bigger people on YouTube actually play through that dungeon. So... There's that. Anyway, thank you for joining me, and we will come back with a different Let's Play. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but um, this will be going up along with uh, Persona 5 at this point. So, um, I'm hoping to get that started t tomorrow, as far as recording goes. So, I haven't recorded it yet. Ooh. <laughs> so if that doesn't happen that this is going to be a bit weird i've been wanting to play that game for years ever since it came out and then the royal version came out so uh, there, there there's reasons why i've been wanting to play it so hopefully i can showcase it to you all um or i am showcasing it in a good way but anyway i'm rambling see ya <laughs>